Hi friend, it's Ron from cammastery.com where you can go to learn how to make great videos with Camtasia. This is a free lesson Friday, which means you get a free lesson right from my Camtasia Mastery course. If you want to get the entire course, you can head over to cammastery.com slash store and pick up that course. Now onto the video. All right, now I want to talk about the project settings. This is a very important option to know about. I wanted to dedicate an entire video just to project settings because it is key to you creating the video that you want. All right, so let's understand what it is. Why is this such an important part of the canvas? Well, let's click on project settings and see what's there. Here is where we set up our canvas dimensions, meaning what size do you want that final produced video to be? All right. In this case, I'm looking at this, it's 1920 by 1080. And why did it default to this? Well, because my recording was 1920 by 1080. So one of the things I like about the canvas is that it will automatically detect that first thing that I brought in, that first recorded object, and it will change the canvas dimensions to match that. Now, when it comes time to produce, you can produce at smaller dimensions. So I could produce at something like 1280 by 720. But as I'm working here, I want you to have in mind what resolution you want to produce at and edit at that same resolution. That will give you the cleanest, crispest, sharpest picture that you can have in your video. And that will be the highest quality. So again, thinking about the end result, what do you want to create? If you want to create something that's 1280 by 720, then perhaps you start here with setting your dimensions to 1280 by 720 and work that way rather than going in, creating everything, laying everything out the way you want, and then going, oh, it was the wrong dimensions. I need it to be bigger. And then you go and you try and make it bigger. And now everything's messed up. Let me show you what I mean. Let's say uh, that this video, I want to create it at 1920 by 1080. All right. But instead, my canvas is incorrectly at 1280 by 720. So I'll go ahead and say apply. So I see here's my video. I'll just grab that and I'll put my video in here. I say, okay, great. My video is filling up this screen and then I add other things and it's perfectly the way I want it laid out. And then I realize at the end, oh wait, I didn't mean for it to be that size. I meant for it to be 1920 by 1080. And I click apply. Now look at what's happened. I have all this extra black space around it. The only thing my users will see is this smaller part in the middle because that's where I was working. I was working in this smaller area of 1280 by 720. Now, whatever I've added, I'm going to have to go and resize. I'm going to have to move things around on the canvas and all of my editing time could have been wasted or maybe not all of it, but a good portion of my editing time will now have been wasted because I started with the wrong project settings. So you can see here before we even jumped in to do any type of editing, I want you to go to the top. I want you to choose the project settings you want. And in my case, I'm starting, I, I will produce my videos in either 1280 by 720 or 1920 by 1080. So that's the first part. That's the key part that I want you to realize. Notice also you can choose these other options. Now, right now I can't, they're grayed out because I didn't choose a custom setting. So if I go back here and I say, I wanna set custom dimensions, then I can go in here and choose and type any number I want. So if I wanted this to be something square, I could say, well, I want it to be 400 by 400 and then say apply. And there we go. Now my canvas is this 400 pixel by 400 pixel square. Now, I don't know why I might do that. Maybe Instagram or something. I'm not sure why I would want that. But if you needed something outside of the standard settings, which are the 1080 and the 720, I could do that under custom. Notice you could go even smaller. The 480 is a much smaller resolution if you need that. And they provide specific device sizes. So if you're using an iPhone 5, 6, 6 Plus, iPad 2 and Mini, or iPad Air, they know exactly what those resolutions are and they've provided those for you.